Uh, well, I had, uh, I think it was Gunther sent me some YouTube video links of uh, more, more decorative stuff we can do. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you all is last night, I know that I have a big build I need to work on towards upgrading my power from regular fuel to, fuel to turbo fuel. We need compacted coal, so I actually just built a sulfur train. Uh, a sulfur train station, loading station and unloading station. So last night I started some, uh, some sulfur being brought over because we're going to have to work on compacted coal to work on our turbo fuel build. I'm not going to get right into that immediately, though, because I want to show you all a little bit what we worked on. Uh, hey, Gunther. Speak of the devil. Gunther, uh, I watched I watched through some videos Gunther sent me this morning for decorations we can do. Uh, I filled in the factories over here with walls, which is great and all, but it's making it harder to see my uh, actual chains of my, of my uh, chains of my uh, pyramid. I need to add lower pillar supports for uh, these factories. Um... These chains here, I couldn't figure out how to connect them well, and so what I ended up doing was I plated a, I put a base down here and then connected them to um, pipeline support. So it looks like the chains are mounted to something. And I started a little bit. Uh, what do I think of the rap battle? Oh, the rap battle is great. I had seen that one, the Weird Al one. It's great. I I enjoy the rap, epic rap battles of history. Those are great. Uh, so we're going to walk all the way up to the top of our pyramid here. Where I did, I started uh, some of the videos that Gunther sent. Talk about how you can use pillars and metal beams to do a lot of cool stuff. And so I started setting up some pillars and beams um, off stream. But now that I've watched your video, I kind of want to put some, there's some pretty crazy uh, pillar designs you can do. There's these round pillars that are really cool looking. I don't know if I'm going to do all of this right now, but I want to kind of test. I want to kind of test a pillar thing here. Uh, uh, do I have a small, small concrete pillar? Small pillar support. Is that the smallest pillar support you can do? Uh, is there only big and small? Yeah, there's only big and small. Um, there's really cool round pillars you can do that I'm thinking about using, and let me see. So if you do this, uh, actually, I think you need to do, and I think you need to start off with the actual pillar itself. Uh, and do I want to do concrete or metal? I probably want to do a concrete pillar. Let me see here. Uh, not a concrete, a metal pillar. If you put a small metal pillar and hold control, uh, hold on a sec. Control and turn. Oh man, did I already forget how to do it? Uh, do I need something? You can make them round. And how did I? How do you make them round? Was there something you have to put on top of it first? Man, I already forget how to do this. Because what you could do. I think you have to be on top of something to do what I'm trying to do here. Because you're able to stack them on top of each other somehow. And now I instantly forgot how to do it. Uh, I wonder if you have to be on top of a metal beam to do this, maybe. Let me see if I put a metal beam, if this will work. I'm still figuring out how to do all this stuff. So if I do this... Gosh, uh, Gunther, you sent me the video. Do you remember how to do it? Because you're like stacking the pillars on top of each other. Oh, there we go. There it is. I have to be aiming at the metal pillar. This is what it is. There we go. And then we put on the supports by aiming at these guys. And we have a round... A round pillar, and it's really cool looking. So, I am probably going to want to mess with this and build, like, some round pillars. 
for my uh uh for my build here um so to, to figure out the placement i probably would want to do something like this put a metal metal pillar and then put a beam on top of it Although I would want to zoop it, you're right. I would want to zoop it. So probably what I would do, make it however tall I want it to be. Uh, if I put it like right. Put a beam there. And then I can aim at the beam. There we go. Aim at the beam and then go down with zoop mode. So I will probably play with pillars off stream. That shows kind of how they work. You can make round pillars and I will probably want to do some sort of round pillarage somewhere on our factory uh, or on our our, uh, our pyramid to the space gods. Fluted columns are great looking. For the glory of Randy Man and his sadistic operations, that's right. Personally, I think the pyramid needs some lighting or colored signs. Yes, I watched the video about colored signs too. Looks really cool. Um, I think the place I would want to do colored signs is probably... I've been thinking I want to light up something in the middle. I wonder if I could do... Uh, you can do some cool stuff with signs that I have not messed with yet. Where are the, my walls? Here we go. So, if I did something like, something like signs all across here, uh, that's the wrong kind, I don't want to do that kind. Although I think I could do it sideways, yeah, if I did like a sideways signs all across here. And you can do, um, background is none. You do, uh, none there. So like if I wanted to do, I don't know, like a bright blue light or something here. You select your color. Something like that. Uh, and you can do, what is it? Uh, you can make it brighter somehow. I want skinny, not portrait, huh? Okay. I'm trying to just figure out how these damn things actually work. Display sign, probably like this. Maybe like this. We do like these across. Something like this. It doesn't matter that they're upside down. Um, scroll down, you say. Where do I scroll down? Because <sighs> you can make them brighter somehow. No background, no icon. Is it the background that you do? Grid, none, radial gradient. gradient. No, I think I just want none. Under set text. Ah, here we go. Emissions strength three. We select our color. I think I'll have to find the blue color I would want. It's like a darker. I'm just messing with this because I haven't really done this. I just watched a video about it. The blue. Oh, crap. Uh. Copy, paste, paste. There we go. And we have a very bright, bright, a bright light. I think so. That is definitely not the color I thought it would be. Set text here. Delete that. And if we control copy V, we can like have a very bright blue light going on. Why is there mist coming out of that? I don't know. That's proof of concept. I would need a lot of signs and I would need to figure out how to overlap them. What's up, Forecast? How are you doing, my friend? 
So it might it might be different types of signs I would need to use. That's the display sign. Maybe the label sign, the skinny one. That one might be better. Have to overlap them. But that's the idea. To like light. I wonder how far away the lighting would you could see the lighting. Not sure how far away you can see the lighting, but lighting around with signs is probably another thing I'd like to do. Yes, the ziggurat, the work on the ziggurat continues. And we'll want to light. So pillars and lighting. Gunther gave me some good suggestions for that. So I look forward to messing with that. However, the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to actually work on factory. Because that's why I've been, I've been working on other stuff. And I wrote down some numbers off stream for my plans for today. It's very Naxxramas vibes. You're right. It does look like Naxxramas. <laughs> that's probably why ziggurat was the word I kept thinking of when... I was creating this thing. It's a pyramid, but it's more of a ziggurat. So, I wrote some numbers down. Our goal today is to upgrade from uh, regular fuel to turbo fuel, which is going to require some numbers because down here is where we are turning our heavy oil residue into fuel. And last night I did some calculations. If this entire factory is running at full speed, we have... What did I put down? I have 400 a minute heavy oil residue being created. And this machine right here, heavy oil residue. So, each machine does 30 per minute turbo fuel using 37.5 heavy oil residue. If I have... 400 heavy oil residue divided by the 37.5 per machines. <laughs> Looks like I will need 10.66 machines uh, to process it all. So let's make that 11 machines. So I'll need 30 times 11. 330 compacted coal a minute for these 11 machines I'm going to set up. We're going to have to 25 man my satisfactory ziggurat, absolutely. <laughs> What's up, Shogi? You know, we could do the 10 man version. I watched a little bit of Evercraft last night. Uh, the very, very early access, and it looks pretty simplistic right now, but it could be cool. Could be cool. Uh, more like saddest factory ziggurat because of all the dead people. Ah, uh, dead people. So sad. So, if we are going to need. I put down actually 400 compacted coal a minute. Uh, it's 330, but I rounded up to 400. Uh, I have I have a 480 per minute coal here because compacted coal is I only have one recipe for it, and it's coal and sulfur. So that's why I set up the sulfur uh, train the other day. Uh, off stream. So I have a station bringing me sulfur. And I was considering last night, I don't know that I want to do a truck delivering. God, I'm lagging like insane amounts right now, game. What? What? Can I close anything? Is there anything I can close? Could you Could you maybe not lag nonstop horribly my entire stream? That would be nice. Um, so, I need... To set up a factory to make compacted coal. And I am running out of room for factories here. I'm going to have to start... Uh, moving further around my uh, the rim of my factory, I think. I wonder if I could fit one in a skinny factory here that's just going to make compacted coal. I feel like it might be too wide. You're interested in Evercraft Online for sure? You saw some guy jump down to a well for their Shadow Knight trainer. He was at that... You were sewing at that point. Minecraft EU, take my money. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I need I need more room because um, for an assembler factory... What's the width of an assembly assembler factory? It's too wide to fit here. Definitely. Well, it's close. Uh, 
Eh, maybe not that close. Yeah, there's some overlap. I need more space if I want to make another assembler factory. What I could possibly do is if I'm using the compacted coal only for this building, I could just attach it. Maybe I do an annex to this thing where I just create my compacted coal on the side of this factory. That might be the best way to do this. You wish satis you wish factorial resources didn't end like in satisfactory nowadays. Yeah. I'm telling you, endless resources are so good. Yeah, I don't need to truck the coal over, thankfully. Um, the... Uh, sulfur, I don't want to truck over because it's not that much and I could... Um... Uh, I could just, I could just, what are those things called? What are, what are these things called? My brain is fried. Conveyor them over, and that's probably what I'll end up doing. This conveyor belt them over. Um, so I think what I want to do is like an annex on the side of this that's, con that's creating the compacted coal we need. So... What I'm a little worried about is I'm going to need a lot more power stations, so I want to leave room for vertical space for the power station. I wonder if I could have it come out the front. No, probably out the side, and these I can just build out that way or to the left if I need more. So these will go out vertically, uh, horizontally, and I can build a compacted coal factory on the side of this. I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, what floor am I going to do this on, though? Because I feel like the compacted coal um, is going to need to go to the second floor. So this is the floor I want to have access to that stuff from. So if I have sulfur, compacted coal created over here, do I have room? Do I have room here? Will I run into my fuel? Things here. I don't think so. This looks like this gives us enough clearance. I could even put a... Make this be the second floor of the... Fuel generators, potentially. So... Okay. I think this is where I'm going to build my... Compacted coal assembler factory. To put it behind the refineries, huh? The problem is that back here is where I've put the fluid storage and where our fuel is being packaged. So we have... I could maybe put it behind here. But will I need more room behind here eventually? I could put it behind here... I can't believe it's already almost time for another Christmas caroling stream. Feels like the last one was just yesterday. Wow. Feels like it's been over a year to me. I think I want to put it off to the side because I feel like I might need more fluid storage space eventually. So I'm going to put it off to the side over here. I think this is going to be uh, better. So. This should be decent placement right here. So what I'm going to do... Is. This is going to be our support where we do our assembler factory modular front. This is the front. This. Okay. Very good. And so this, I need to process, what did I say, 400 compacted coal a minute. So, it's this. Uh, and that's 25. 400 divided by 25. 16. So I need 16 machines. This is 6. So I need times 3. I need 6 times 3 of these. 
I should be able to connect my modular thing to this. This game sure is pretty, and your factory is prettier than... My factory is prettier than your mess, huh? <laughs> well, I mean, you've been working on Factorial, right? So... Your Factorio is prettier than my non-existent Factorio. I guess this should be like this. I also probably have a lot more hours than you in Satisfactory, so don't don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. It's fine. Okay, and I should do one more modular set for this. This should be enough for our starting. I'm actually missing materials. Huh, okay. I, got, I need to get a bunch more iron plates and things. Uh, let's see. Yeah, iron plates. I'm just out of them. These uh, blueprints sometimes take a crap ton of materials. You say my factory looks prettier than yours, and then I watch these YouTube videos of factories, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Like, somebody built a factory in this area, and they, like... They, like, put a road that form fits around the craters, and it looks so cool. And I'm like, I have all these straight lines, and theirs is all form-fitting and cool-looking. I want mine to be form-fitting and cool-looking. <laughs> Alright, I definitely need a lot of concrete as well. Concrete is over... Here I have concrete. But I am, I am happy with how it's come together. I am happy with how the factories come together for sure. I will never be as creative as some of the people out there who come up with these insane builds with like one of the uh, in one of the videos Gunther sent me. This guy figured out how to make an actual round tunnel out of metal beams or some or support uh, pillars. It's like wow, this is crazy cool. It's like really. Um, tedious to do, but it looks really cool. It looks like freaking Halo. He's got like a freaking Halo from Halo on his back. You don't even try to compete with actually aesthetic com competent people. It's futile. How mine, however, look to you looks very cool. Nice. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I've been enjoying the design process here, that's for sure. Okay. There we go. So that should be 18. If my numbers are right. Uh, this should be able to make uh, 400 compacted coal a minute. Let's check if I'm right about that. 25. Should be 9 on each side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, wait. I think I did more than I needed. Hold on a second. Let me count these out. Okay. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. We did 22 for some reason. Was it not 6 per... Was Does my modular thing have 4? Ah, that's why. My modular thing has 4 while my front thing has 3. That's why I miscounted. That's okay. So we have... Couple extra machines that I don't need. Uh, am I going to deconstruct them? Uh, yes. For now, I am. So I know exactly how many I need. So I don't go too far. I'm going to deconstruct the inputs. Lag. I feel like my PC, my gaming PC, is slowly. Dying and falling behind because of either my hard drive or my video card or a combination of both. 
Actually, I'm going to deconstruct this entire last piece just because once I'm upstairs, I don't want to build stuff I don't need to build. I understand the round column getting curved roads is basically the same process. Okay, that makes sense. You would probably use glass walls for skyscraper or multi-sky factory building. That's a cool idea. I should start using some glass walls. Now that I have more um, quartz available, I could potentially start swapping those out. Okay, so... Compacticle 25 times 16. I think I have more than 16, actually. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Yes, I have 18. Okay. Get rid of these then, too. There it goes. This factory is a little longer than it needs to be. Uh, giggity, that's what she said. Um, but I can expand this later if needed. So. Paste all these things. This is all to upgrade our power. You gotta spend power to make power or something. Uh, okay, so I need to get power to this building, which would require me to do something like... Got a power pole over there. go. This should allow us to plug in our power here. And I should see a bunch of yellow lights over here now. Uh, once I connect all these power poles. Um, why aren't you connected? Should totally be connected here. I'm confused. I see my power poles connected, but they're not actually connected. What? What? What are you connected to? This power pole. My power poles all screwed up. I think my power poles are all screwed up or something. Oh, I think I gotta redo my freaking power poles. Actually, how are you powered, but you're not powered? Okay, these power poles are all effed. I gotta completely replace all these power poles. Somehow my. My blueprints power poles are screwed up or something. Whatever. Whatever. I should be connected to that, and then this guy goes to these two. This is what they should have been. I don't know. What are you connected to? Alright, my modular power poles are all effed, apparently. Uh, past Rand, what have you done? That is the question. A modular power poles. Or they were set up in a way that I didn't, just, just didn't connect them right. So maybe it's, maybe it's current Rand's fault. Okay, these are all now yellow. Okay, that's good. Rand is powered because you got the touch. <laughs> that's right. You got the power. Okay, so... Um, what I need input-wise is 400 sulfur and 400 coal per minute. So, 
I don't really want to set up a truck for this for many reasons. One of the main reasons being uh, it's, I'm kind of putting it out off to the side here. It's not super... Um, easy to get to this area. So... I'm going to need to bring in... Bring in materials from where? How do I want to bring them in here? If I hug the outside of my factory out here wall. I'm thinking about bringing it through the floor. Actually, if I brought it, brought it through the floor, that could be not too bad. If I were to do floor conveyors here and here. Could enter in. Here and here. Uh, Ran is all powerful and glorious in sadist factory to forever be praised by the land laborers, both skilled and unskilled, young and old and dying alike. Okay, it's a weird sentence, but sure. Uh, so these are 400 a minute. They're going to be tier four belts. Current Rand has the power. Get it? I get it. It's like chat's making jokes, and I don't jokes. And I don't get them. If it's not on the loop, you say don't bother. If it's not on the loop, I say don't bother. That's referencing. Okay. There's my inputs. Um, I do need to connect. That guy. That guy. And then that guy. And that guy. Uh, laborers can't praise Rand because they're all dead. Did we switch out to Cult of the Lambs? I don't know. People like to make jokes about... Thus being a slave or, or something. If the factory isn't on the loop, it probably doesn't need a truck stop. Ah, yes, yes. This is not on the loop for sure. Uh, okay. So. Uh, I should have stayed up there, actually. Uh, let's get ourselves a ladder to get up there easily from here. Dead laborers, more like unproductive laborers. There you go. That's why we're making jokes about being slavers or something. Can't see if that's lined up. Does that look lined up? I think so. Nice. Beautiful. Okay. That should bring us our coal and sulfur. Alright. Very nice. So now I need to bring the coal and sulfur over to here. From down below. So I can probably have these follow the bottom of our uh, our loop here. Our, our road. So let me figure out probably something like that. And something like that. Bring those in. So, bring the coal and sulfur. Let's do it. The sulfur will be coming from my train station. The coal will be just coming from this. I'm just going to have a single. I have a single tier two miner on a. A tier two miner fully overclocked on a pure. 
thing here does 480, which will be 80 more than we need. So let's aim it the correct direction we want to go this way. Uh, their shame shall fall upon subsequent generations of their families. You can't shake the feeling that someday, uh, you'll land on a belt, get sucked into one of those machines, and torn to pieces instantaneously hearing Ada's maniacal laughter. Okay. They died doing what they loved, blindly serving the one true Rand at the crack of his fair and just whip. <laughs> Alright, one other thing that I learned about, uh from those videos is if I get a where is oh I don't have the there's a there's a road barrier thing you can put to make straight straight belts out of these things but I'm not going to worry about that alright so this is going to be following the contours of this of this guy here. So I probably want to bring this around the outside, around the outside here. About there. Okay. It'd be good to just plug in the power here. There. Good. Uh, we're clearly speaking about different laborers. You're remembering ones ran exterminated mercilessly and wow. Okay. Some were literally serving blind because of the beatings provided by the whip. Rand is good. Rand is great. We surrender our will as of this date. <laughs> okay. Uh, I feel like I might be unfairly judged currently about how I treat people. Totally unfair. God, it's so dark. I can't see if I'm centered on a, a pillar or not. I want to be centered on a pillar. So this pillar here I want to be centered on. I just, I literally cannot see. It's effing so dark. Cannot see. Okay, the center should be right like there. There? Is that centered? Can't even tell. And now it's turned all around. Ah, oh, Jesus. It's turning the other direction. I really wish it was clearer to tell. You know what? Okay. There was another tip. Options. User interface. Hologram color. Changes to like white. It's so hard to see. It's so hard to see the directions of things with the blue hologram thing. With white, can I actually see the direction better? Uh, I don't know that it's any effing better. Jesus. That direction. Is that is that in the middle? I think that's in the middle. Okay. There we go. That should be in the middle there. I'm totally being viewed as an honest murder hobo. All this talk about worship is reminding you of the stories of the Belgian Congo. Okay. Right, if I can get this one set up, I can get the other one set up. I'm a malevolent dictator, okay? This isn't... Well, is this centered... Actually, it is centered. The one below it is not centered. Okay, because this I just randomly placed. They're not people. They're subjects of the divine and the sadist factory. Great, great. Alright, where are we going? We're going over here somewhere. Autosave or just effing lag? It's just effing lag. That is non-stop, I swear. So much lag in this game. 
the optimization seems wanting. Or my computer just sucks, you know, one of those two. Okay. Alright, so this one, I'm gonna have the other one be on the inside. Is that what I'm gonna do? Hold on a second. That one will be on the inside loop. So it'll be to the right of this. So this one wants to be about there and there. Okay. Very good. Uh, that went up, which is not good. Um, is there a way to turn down the opacity on the white hologram to see the arrows better? I don't think there's an opacity option. I don't think so. Uh, maybe if I just made it a lighter white? Maybe if I made it, like, a little bit darker? It just looks darker to me, huh? Maybe I can see the green a little better? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's slightly better. I don't know. Let's bring our... Uh, bring our sulfur over. And so currently my sulfur is being, being brought in by train. And... Normally I would take the output of the train and put it up above and bring it by truck. And I just don't want to do all that. So what I'm going to do is have this one station delivering underneath. Kind of like the oil is doing. The oil is doing the similar thing. So. All this sulfur. Alright, we've gotten a good amount delivered so far. Nice. We'll output downwards here. the right direction? I think that's the right direction. Okay. Underneath we go. Okay. And we shall have these output. So wait. I think the way I'm going to have this be done is just put mergers on these guys. Merge, merge, merge. Tier three to there, and then tier fours. Am I seeing sulfur? Beautiful. So this is 480 sulfur a minute. We are going across here. We're going to have some belts overlap. But you know, it's all underneath. Who cares? It's all underneath. Who even cares? Totally not me. Nobody will ever see the spaghetti. Right, where am I bringing this? All the way over there. There's a long way to go. Let's uh, let's go along this direction. Hide the ugly. <laughs> Why is the truck down? <laughs> You're not supposed to be down here, truck. <laughs> These stupid trucks. What the hell? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I don't know how you're getting back up top, truck. Good luck, though. Is the basement spaghetti monster? You can't park here, sir. <laughs> Oh, it's goofy. It's so goofy. Okay, where? Okay, it's along. Like right along here, I think. I want to bring it along the inside of this middle piece right here, so. Uh, do 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 do. Should be where I want to connect to. Conveyor is too steep. Okay. Hopefully, it won't be too steep if it has more room. Go. Do that. Okay. Who taught that guy how to drive? Oh wait, that's me. That's past me. Past me doesn't know how to drive, I guess. Uh not even real spaghetti. Spaghetti doesn't overlap. And where are the meatballs? Hmm, good question. Where are the meatballs? So here is the call. So we are going to be lined up right next to this guy. This, I think, is how I want to do this. I think I said I wanted to bring this in the other side. This is fine. It's fine. We'll call, call, change the outputs if needed. Sulfur on here. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna change this. Crap, I have a bunch of coal already on that belt though. Uh... Seven bit. Um, so what I want is... Oh, I can just connect it there and it goes. Fix the outputs there, but that should get coal and uh, sulfur brought into this factory. And yeah, I have. Uh, I'm gonna have to clear out a bunch of coal for me having the wrong belts in the wrong places there. Uh, plugging in one resource into two different things is going to screw this all up, actually. Uh, <laughs> oh, crap. And so what I need to do is empty these all of coal. Oh, this is going to be a pain. I have to clear this out until all the... these. Uh, I'll, I'm just going to delete a bunch of coal is what I'm going to end up doing here. I don't know if there's a better way to do this. I know, I got to purge all the coal. That was just, I... Stupidly done. How do I delete? Is there, is there a quick delete button? Or do I just have to drag it? 
I just have to drag it. Hopefully I only have to do this once to clear it out to get sulfur to start coming in. Hopefully. Come on, I'm shift-clicking, game. Give me some help here. Oh, I'm full. Hold control while dragging. Thank you. Appreciate that. Very much. Okay, so... The sulfur's starting to come in. I just need to clear out... Hopefully, clear these out until I start seeing salt coming in. Okay, I, that might be it. Check all these getting sulfur. We should be clear. Yeah, they're turning green. They're working. I see a yellow one up here, so this one maybe needs to clear out again. Um, no, it's going. Okay. Okay, so that should be compacted coal starting to come together okay now you want spaghetti all right so now I got to get the outputs for these guys um, which is gonna have to go onto this floor and I'm gonna have to clear out fuel clear clear all the fuel so that I can get the turbo fuel going so how do I purge this um, I actually have a bunch of heavy oil residue. I think what I do actually is I should be able to just swap all these guys over because they're they're receiving heavy oil residue and turning it into something. So I think if I just swap all these recipes. Problem is my fuel line is gonna get. I want to clear these out of fuel is what I want to do. Let me uh, get rid of that too. I want to depower these. I kind of want to clear them out, clear them out of fuel. So yeah, maybe if I depower them. Is that what I want to do? Depower them, because the fuel will be. The fuel is being transferred. If I just depower all these guys while I swap it out, that's probably the way to go. So. There. Uh, the problem is we have some, do we have some petroleum coke in here? No, I think, I think that's all cleared out. Okay, so now we're gonna swap all this out. Uh, we could flush. Oh, there's a flush button on the fluid buffer. You're right. Uh, which, do I have a fluid buffer for my fuel? I do. And I will do that after I swap everything out. Because what, what is going to happen... This is going to run out of fuel anyway. Because it's all draining out. Where it's being turned into power. So. We want to swap all of these over into this and I need 400 a minute divided by th uh, 37 so 11 machines I think we'll have more compacted coal than we need which is good so copy paste how many do I currently have? I currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if I fit one more in here, I think that is actually the exact amount we need, I think. Uh, which direction are you facing? The output is on the back, okay. This. So 
I think my numbers are right here. So let me paste all these. I'll have to get them all hooked up correctly, but we're turning all these into turbo fuel. We should all be turbo fuel. All right, so the first is we're inputting heavy oil residue, and I'm going to bring in the compacted coal here. So let me get the piping set up first here. Okay. Save lag, okay. And what should be happening is this buffer should be filling right now that I'm not using it. Yes, okay. All right, so that should be the inputs for all these guys. I want to set up one extra one just in case. No, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust my numbers. I'm gonna trust my numbers. I didn't that actually so is that good that's good okay so i need to get the compacted coal uh distribution set up here so splitter good job pass ran and making these all line up perfectly for once, I'm telling Pass Rand he's doing well. Actually, maybe I would do want to do one extra here. I'm going to do one extra. It's going to be... I would rather have too much processing than not enough processing. Because if we had not enough processing, then we would back up in our residual fuel... Uh, residual whatever. Which is we don't, something we don't want to have happen. Alright, so it's going to be 30 a minute, so we can use a Tier 1... Bringing these in. Well, I said good job, Pass Rand, and Pass Rand did not line this one up correctly. There we go, that's right. The pipeline junction function. What's your junction function? Why does that look different than the others? I don't know. I don't know why you have a different shape. It's fine. It's fine. Ignore. Ignore that wrong shape. Ignore it. Hopefully none of these other ones are misaligned. These, these other ones should all be aligned correctly. Yes. Good. Uh, I know why it's misaligned, because it's... I hit control, and... It didn't actually line up like it was supposed to. Control, you have failed me. The pink one is not still slooped, so I actually need to change the color of it. Because it's not actually still slooped. Okay, that one is now lined up, right? Now lined up. Right. Be 
You finished your second tower of rocket fuel yesterday. Now you produce 5,400 rocket fuel from 1,500 oil for 323 gigawatts of power. Gigawatts! Mahdi, gigawatts! This is the wrong direction, isn't it? This is the wrong direction. Uh, you're going to build a train network now. Okay, nice. Wow, you're only now doing a train network. You're doing things like in the exact opposite order from me. <laughs> did that go in? That did not go in, giggity. That's what she said. Okay, we'll find out once we plug in the compacted coal. All right. Um, do I need to flush now? Let me see if I need to flush. It says that it's fuel. This says that it's fuel. If I flush full pipe network. Okay. Then. Over here. We want to change this. Ah, oh, crap. I depowered that. Alright, let me replug in my power. That these things are plugged in. Because I need to... I need to empty out that fuel so I can turn that over into... Actually, hold on. I think I need to flush this first. I need this. Okay, this pipe is empty. So once this finishes up the fuel it has... Uh, I should be able to change this over to packaged rocket fuel, hopefully. I need this fuel to wear out. Uh, but you need power is the problem. Actually, no. As soon as this empties out, I'm just gonna swap this swap this over and we waste like 50 fuel. It's not that big a deal. So, can I do package turbo fuel? That's what we want to do. There. Empty canisters. Should be brought in. So that, everything should be good once I repower this, I think. None in the pipe. Not in the pipe. Okay, hopefully we have cleared out all of that. All of the fuel to swap over to turbo fuel here. Let me get the compacted fuel brought in. And then we can plug this in, and we should have turbo fuel swapped over. Uh, the output. Sometimes you have to individually flush machines. Okay, I'll check that. Okay. Merge these bad boys in the middle would be right here. What the frick just happened? I like fell through the... the hell? I just fell through the floor or something. I swear, my... <laughs> my game is bugging out the more I play it, I swear. It's always, when I play Satisfactory, the deeper I get into the playthrough, the more the lag and bugginess happens. Okay. Okay, where are we going? We're going over to... I put a wall hole over there. Okay. That's straight. That looks straight. Okay. All those years you were driving a high-performance car that required premium fuel when you could have been calling it TURBO FUEL! <laughs> Missed opportunity. It's true. I don't know why there are two of those things there. 
That is not straight. I swear it looked like it had a green line like it was straight. That, that should be straight. I think that's straight. It's the wrong effing direction. God damn it. R. There it is. There. There we go. Compacted call. Hopefully that's going to the right place. Let's go find out. Compacted call is here. Beautimus, compacted call. Okay. Alright, these should all be plugged in. I'll have to check if things need to be flushed, but let's power and see what happens here. I'm gonna have to, uh... Change up my power poles a little bit here. Okay. All right, are these guys turning green? This one is not. What are you missing? Probably the residual heavy, heavy oil residue, which... Oh, I didn't plug that in. That's my bad. That is my bad. And I actually didn't set up some outputs, too. I need to set up some outputs. This should be turning on now, right? Um, yes, it should be. Beautiful. All right, outputs that I missed earlier. Okay. I just need to always have platforms underneath these things, these half slabs and their inability to place pipes on drives me crazy. Or not half slabs, but the whatever these things are called. The half pipes. These are snapping lag. Okay, now it's not sla sla uh, snapping. I don't know why sometimes uh, these pipe things will snap, and other times they just won't. I don't. I don't know the reasoning behind. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Okay, these should all be filling with turbo fuel. Very nice. The other side. Beautiful. Okay. Crap, I think I didn't replace my half slab back on the other side, which I need to do. Line junction. What's your function? There. There. Honestly, this hasn't been too bad of a changeover to go from regular fuel to turbo fuel. This hasn't been too bad. Okay, good. And I think, is it currently backed up? Um, 
The turbo fuel should just go right to my power generators, I think. I'll check that in a second. Are you creating turbo fuel things? Hey, we got packaged turbo fuel. Upgrade, nice. All right, so let me close this back up and make sure everything's running smoothly here. Um, is this backed up or is it starting to clear out? This should slowly start to clear out as we're changing this all over to turbo fuel. Is my power jumping up? My gray line and my orange line are together. Is that bad? That's bad, I think. <laughs> the gray line was supposed to go up from all this. But my battery is covering as we do this swap over. So I think we lost power. I think maybe my generators... I might need to flush my generators or something. Let me uh, close this back up. And let me fix uh, this thing over here that I didn't fix. Fill this back in. Okay, now let's go see if my generators are running. They are all offline. So this has got turbo fuel in it. It's delivering it. I probably have to... Yeah, I think I gotta flush all these. How do I flush? Can I flush these or do I have to, like, reconstruct them? It looks like they all have a little bit of fuel and I can't... I think I might have to reconstruct all those. Drag the fuel to the trash. Okay. Will that work? Hey, good call, Flurchin. Thank you. And I think I'm going to need more of the generators. I'll figure that out in a second. Thank you for that. This should start really kicking up our uh, power supply as well, I think. Oh, my freaking lag. That is very nice that they allow you to do that. No fuel. Okay, these pipes are not connected 100%. How do you... They're like, they're like fake connected here, aren't they? What the hell? There we go. You're getting turbo fuel? Cool. So now I just need to... You should start filling up. Now the rest of these guys. There it goes. It should start going. Is this starting to fill? Okay, there it goes. There's just the delay for pipage stuff. Delay for pipage. Or liquid shenanigans. Working with liquids might be the most annoying thing that is in this game, to be honest. Turbo fuel doesn't make more power, it uses less fuel, so you need to build more generators. Right. I should be generating more power once we get more generators because the f less fuel is needed per generator, I think. Okay, I think this will eventually all start doing its thing. Um, so if I'm creating I think hold on a sec, 400 400 a minute divided by we're making 30, 30 turbo fuel per minute. I need probably 14 generators. How many do I currently have? Currently have one, two, three, four, five. I have 10. I need four more. So let me set this up. All hopefully these are gonna start spinning up here.
I think I might need to get a new ergonomic mouse because I'm pretty sure my my roll thingy, my scroll wheel is all screwed up, I think. Okay, I don't know why you guys are not running. There is turbo fuel in here. Do I need a pump? Am I not flowing fast enough? Do I have a bottleneck? Why is this flow rate? Okay, that's maxed. That's maxed. That's maxed. That's maxed. I think I have a bottleneck of a lower level pipe in here somewhere. I think I might need to replace these pipes. Okay, that's maxed. Maybe I don't. Maybe this just is delayed for some reason. We need bioreactors for spider energy. Okay. If this is maxed, why are you not maxed? Why are you not full? And why are you not getting enough turbo fuel? Am I having liquid issues? I feel like I might need to replace these pipes. Because I might have some inner pipe that's a tier one pipe bottlenecking me somewhere along the way here. Because we should, with a, flow rate of 600. How much does this use? Only 7.5 a minute. I'm so confused. This pipe is full. This pipe is not. I think there's something messed up here. I'm gonna I'm just gonna redo these entire this entire entire pipeline. I feel like something's messed up here. It's gonna screw us up for a bit, but hopefully this will fix this by replacing pipes. Where did I not just place the thing underneath here that that should just connect to? I guess I can't go through the through the damn half pipes. I like this build, and my god, half pipes are annoying to lay pipes inside of. Seems really like a poor design choice. Okay, hopefully this will get all these fixed. And then I can add the extra ones that I need to add. Please start kicking on generators. Alright, please start kicking on. I see green there, I see green here. Why are the ones at the end still red? Why? Oh, there it goes, there it goes. There it goes. Alright, they're kicking on. Alright, beautiful. So I need to see add uh, four more of these guys and we're good to go. Did I place them as close together as I could? Yes, I think I did. I need to spin them around. This, one, two. One, two. Uh, and you know what? I want room for expansion, so I'm gonna do one extra set just to make sure we're burning all the fuel and not backing up. 
After I set this all up, I need to make sure that we don't have any, like, liquid... Oh god, did I do this one right? Got this right. Liquid backups or anything. I need to make sure it's all working correctly. This should be a big upgrade to our power because of turbo fuel lag and a big upgrade to How did I not Jesus man I swear sometimes this game control snapping is not correct Uh, big upgrade to our power, and hopefully, uh, once I get turbo fuel in my inventory, an upgrade to my jetpacking ability. Using slug generators has no downsides if I have a bunch. I have a ton of generators. Uh, uh, over clocking things. No downsides, huh? So it'd give me more power and it wouldn't use up my fuel faster? Is that what you're saying? Because I have just a shiznizzle ton of those. So I will totally do that. Absolutely, I will do that. It just gives you more power. 2.5 times more power for 2.5 times more fuel, but less buildings to click. So it does use more fuel. Uh, which to me feels like a little bit of a downside. It uses more fuel. But I guess it's less machines, I guess. So it's not any loss in efficiency, I guess, is maybe what you're saying. All right, look at that gray line. Look at that gray line skyrocket. Getting actually closer to the blue line. Okay. Um, what I will do is I will overclock maybe the first couple machines. That way we're burning my fuel off fast enough and hopefully not getting backed up anywhere. So it's going to use up my fuel faster. Well, that's actually a big upgrade. Okay, I'm only going to do two machines on this. I say two, I mean four. Okay. All right, and our turbo fuel in storage is actually going up. And then it's going down. So it's probably going to go back and forth, up and down, as we have enough oil. All right, let me check. Check if anything's backed up over here. These guys are all running. 100%, okay. Um, our oil input is probably the thing that I need to worry about that we're using up. Flowing 600 a minute and 600 a minute. All right. Okay, so our oil is flowing. Uh, let me go check if my heavy oil residue is backed up or not. Oops, I need to go the other way, this way. And if our heavy oil residue is not backed up, we're going to call GG cookie time on this build. Each overclock generator makes 675 megawatts, same as nine coal plants. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. All right, we are using... 
the heavy oil residue about as quickly as we're making it, which is what I wanted. It should be actually using it a little bit more. And I have double bufferage. Yes. All right. And this is our turbo fuel. And we are creating packaged turbo fuel. All right. Very nice. GG cookie time on turbo fuel upgrade. What's up, Cal? How am I doing? I'm doing great. I am doing great. Upgrade my build. It's awesome. Like there was a oh there is a the wall thing here that I don't know why that's there. Okay, I overlapped a wall on accident there. And I just did it again. I can see why I did that. Okay, we have just upgraded our power by hopefully a pretty nice chunk that will Wow, we're actually close to our blue line. Our gray line is close to our blue line for the first time in a long time. So that is very good. It's still not as much power as I need. But I'd have to get a bunch more oil. This this gives me more wiggle room. This gives me more wiggle room to build more factories, which is the reason I wanted to do the big, big power upgrade. I need... Because my next goal is to get... Quick wire automated so that I can make what... Um, I have heavy modular frames going, I think. No, maybe I haven't done heavy modular frames. I think... Have I? I think I have, actually. I have computers, I got the oscillators. I feel like there's something I'm missing that I'm supposed to be doing. I have computers. I don't have high-speed connectors because they're not used in computers, right? No, only the circuit boards. Oh, I lost track of what I need to do. We're cruising through the game, we're cruising. Let me go see if I'm making heavy modular frames. I think I am. <sighs> circuit boards. Regular modular frames. Industrial beams. No, yeah. Is this other factory on the other side heavy modular frames? <laughs> I can't can't remember what I'm working towards. What is this factory making? You're making the crystal oscillators, aren't you? Okay, so I haven't made heavy modular frames. Do I need quick wire for heavy modular frames? Uh, maybe... The, I think maybe there's a heavy modular frame build that uses quick wire. Well, there's flexible frames. <sighs> quick wire. Why did I want quick wire? Maybe there was a steel pipe build? I don't want to do this like 390 screw per minute build. I need to build a Kestrel A. Totally. What's up, Contasol? How cool would it be if you could make a controllable spaceship? That would be pretty insane. I feel like there was a build I was going to do, and now I can't remember what it was. Uh, let me look at the assembler. Motors. I haven't done motors. That's what it was. I was going to do a rotor and stator build. Quick wire staters. That's what it is. AI limiters were your first use of quick wire, you think? Well, I, I need motors. Uh, so I haven't got motors going. So what I want to do is get... Quick wire staters, and I think it was steel rotors, and then our normal motor build. That's what I needed the quick wire for. Okay, my brain was brain was exploding because I I knew I had a plan, and I got completely sidetracked as you all as you do in these games, uh, working towards other stuff. So I'm gonna need the caterium for quick wire. So I'm gonna need to make a quick wire factory. Then a stator factory, a rotor factory, and a motor factory. So we got like four factories we got planned right here. So I'm pretty sure Quickwire is one of these factories here. So I gotta, I gotta get the output for the Quickwire. Uh, the Caterium for Quickwire.
but uh, I do actually need to get um, AI limiters and something else automated. Um, I think maybe there's just the AI limiters that I need to get as well. I have circuit boards and computers. But I don't think I have a permanent AI limiter build. Okay. So that's the quartz stuff. Here's my criteria. Concrete. Do I have concrete going anywhere? Yes, it's going to industrial frames, beams, or whatever that's. So that's going. So Caterium is the next one. No, Quartz, we have that one going. Caterium is the next one. Okay, so let's get Caterium going. Um, I never set this to unload. Do I have a train actually delivering Caterium yet? You know what? I think I might not even have... One, two, three, four. Do I even have a Caterium train? Did I set up a Caterium? I don't think I set up any crazy good Caterium setup yet. Okay, so I think I actually need to get Caterium smelting first. Uh, search train stations. Vehicles, train. I can actually see iron, coal, oil, copper, steel, concrete, quartz, sulfur. I do not have a Caterium train. So, I need to get a Caterium train. Which means I need to get Caterium smelting. Which means I need a good source of Caterium. And figure out which version of the Caterium smelting I want to do. Because I think we have multiple options. There's just normal smelting, I believe. There's foundry. And there might even be pure Caterium in a refinery. Do I have pure Caterium? So I want to use that. I don't have that yet. Not a Caterium in there. So currently I only have this basic one. I probably should try to see if I can get pure Caterium. Does pure Caterium exist? I'm sure it does. And I have some hard drives that I can be... I was wanting to save my hard drives. But getting pure Caterium would actually be really nice. Because a lot of times you have, you're kind of limited on the Caterium veins that you have access to. So hopefully if I do some hard drives, we can find pure Caterium without too much trouble. All right. Let's see what I need. Some modular frames. Uh tier 4 belts like crazy. Uh, wires. And copper sheets. Okay. So. Ethereum. Um, what do I see on my map for Caterium? Did I mark any pure Caterium? I surely marked some pure Caterium somewhere. Just mark that as Caterium and Caterium. I didn't I think I would have marked it if it was pure. That one I marked as normal. There's a bunch of sulfur down there I was thinking of trying to get. There! Pure Caterium, way on the bottom half of my map. I think one of the next projects I'm going to have to do off stream is create a new train loop because I basically only have access to this part of the map right now. I don't have access to this part of the map. And this part of the map with my train. I feel like I remember there there being some really nice Caterium deposits up here. And it wouldn't be too hard to create a little bit of an extra train loop up here. So maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little exploration up here looking for a good Caterium vein. And then we set up a train station up there. So let's do that. Um... And I feel like I need more gas filters. Which, uh, what are gas filters made out of? Mycelium and stuff? Fabric. Uh, and 
call. Fabric, which needs biomass, which I can just make a bunch of leaf biomass real quick. And wood biomass. What's up, Schwartz user? Uh, first time seeing Satisfactory. Seems like Minecraft meets Factorio. Uh, I wouldn't call it Minecraft because Minecraft is voxel, and this game you cannot really... There's no voxelization of the map. Um, but yes, Factorio. I would call it 3D Factorio. That's how I would categorize it. Oh, actually, out of coal. I have a crap ton of coal right over here. Okay, so this in there and this in there. Uh, what do I have a lot of that I don't need? No, most of the stuff I'm probably full up on here. So let me throw this little chest. Let me throw some things I don't need, like that. Need that many computers. Do, 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 do. Small amounts of those. That's yes. okay. Um, 3D Factorio is fairly accurate, in fact, since in Factorio you can only do limited terrain alterations just like here. Yeah. That's, I think, the best comparison is 3D Factorio. All right, so we're heading over here looking for Caterium. But I'll check out what version of Caterium we have over here. I'm pretty sure there's like a normal that I'm bringing back to my home bay. Uh, my original non permanent uh, temporary permanent build where is that Caterium? it's right over here actually you could see the minecraft connection I mean it's not completely out of out of bounds you, there are some things you could uh, say have some similarities to Factorio but I mean minecraft but it's definitely closer to a. I would call this an automation game, whereas fact, uh, Minecraft I would call a an exploration and this is a normal, right? Yeah, normal exploration and building game. So there is some crossover. There's building in both games, but I feel like what's more the bigger difference in this game is that it's more focused on automation than it is on building. But, you know, you could argue that it's about the same. But there's not really... I don't feel like there's a lot of automation in original Minecraft. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I feel like original Minecraft was just... Uh, it was more about the building exploration. You don't really automate things until you get into modded Minecraft. You can only remove cliffs, trees, and add landfill to cover water. Say Minecraft most for the mechanic of mining for resources. Yeah, no, I wouldn't compare that here, Schwartz user. Uh, your mining in this game is almost all automated. You don't really automate mining in vanilla Minecraft. I know you automate it in mods. You could compare this to modded Minecraft if you want to do that, if you want to say that. I would give you that. This is much closer to, to modded Minecraft than it is to like vanilla, what I think of as vanilla Minecraft. You do want to play modern Minecraft whenever you want watch this, yeah. Okay, so this is normal. Uh, let me mark that this is normal. Which I cannot do while I'm standing on top of it, apparently. Okay, now let's start scanning Caterium as we go. Oh, wait. Oh, this is... Oh, I thought I saw another one pop up. Just that one. The normal Caterium. 
Yeah, I need I need a much better source of Caterium. This is our permanent base. I need a lot of Caterium, and I'm pretty sure over here there's a bunch of Caterium. Um, let me bring a power line over here. So I'll be able to bring power over this way once I'm ready to do that. There's a big power pole that I've set up that I can grab off of. Over here. Heard Minecraft has mods that let you do automated factories in Minecraft, but yeah, original's more like props down Terraria and 3D. Redstone is the stuff Minecraft lets you do certain automated things. It's completely optional. You never mess with it much. Yeah, so, yeah, okay. I, I guess redstone, I could see redstone gives you the ability to do satisfactory light, I would say. Redstone is very basic automation. So, Minecraft redstone is satisfactory light. That's That's what I'll say. Oh my gosh, is there a geothermal down here that I haven't got access to? I need to plug in if it is. I'll check that in a second. Um, uh, where's the thumb? Here, now, there it is. There we go. Geothermal. Yeah, there's two geothermal geysers down here I never got access to. Sweet, sweet score. Okay, let's go grab those. Free power. Uh, who's, who's aggroing on me? Okay, there's bugs from up above, I guess. Right. I'm just gonna run in here. Just run in and do it. Okay, very good. There's that other hatcher over here. Oh, there we go. Fire dude over here. Okay, anybody else want to want to go? Anybody else? Anybody else want to die? Oh, there's another bug guy over here. Should be able to sneak up on this one, though. Um, nothing replaces actual mining in Minecraft. Yeah, unless you're playing modded Minecraft. Which, um, we actually did have a modded Minecraft server at one point that I did enjoy that aspect of it. What am I hearing? Am I hearing a slug up above us or something? Check it. You weren't trying to say the game is Minecraft. Minecraft and Factory together. I just, there's not, there's not a lot in this game that I would compare to Minecraft. There's very little I would compare to Minecraft. The, you don't you don't do a lot of mining in this game manually, and in Minecraft, most of your mining, if you're not modded. All of your mining is manual, and you don't. The only manual mining you do in this game is early game, so it's uh, it feels like a stretch to compare this to Minecraft. It's much closer to the other things I've talked about, like Factorio and things. So. Um, maybe I'm being disingenuous and there is more in common and somebody in YouTube will tell me all the things that are similar, but to me, to me, there's not a lot of crossover between this and Minecraft. I would say this is closer to Factorio plus a shooter game. Like, what's a game that you do a lot of exploration and shooting? Um, like Halo or... Uh, like seven days to die. I would say it's closer to like seven days to die or something. Although there's there's not much automation in seven days to die, but there is exploration and um 
and fighting and stuff. Okay, so it's an impure geyser, and where's the other one? There were two here, I know. Over here. There it is. Impure and... Oh gosh, is there another one I don't have access to up here? Holy crap, there's a bunch of geothermals I never got access to. I didn't get these? Surely I got these. There should be check marks by those. Okay, well, we're taking a little break from <laughs> what I was going to do. I need every geothermal I can get. Okay, so there's a normal and an impure, so one battery per. So, um, Q power geothermal. This. This. One pat, one battery per. There. There. Uh, that. That. We're doing a bunch of power upgrades today, which I'm super psyched about. So, um... So there's one up here, I think, and there were two down here that I somehow missed. Down here. How the hell did I miss those? All right, let's get the one slightly north of us first. That way. Get that one first. Um... Uh... You also don't feel like this game has much to come with Minecraft other than being in 3D. I guess, yeah. I guess you could say that's the that's the commonality. It's in 3D. So, but that's like so many games that I don't feel like that's enough to really <laughs> give it a comparison. Where was I connecting? There. Come on, wire's too long. If I put it literally on the other side, I bet it's not too long. Yeah, there we go. Um, and did I already get this thing? I have a feeling that I did. Yes. Fully automated redstone farms are nice, but even that comes not even close to the automation of Satisfactory, yeah. Okay, right around here somewhere. Is the geothermal, I think. Up on top of here? Is there a geyser up above this? I feel like that does not make any physical sense that a geothermal geyser, which is getting power from underneath the earth, would be up above here. Unless it's like going through this pillar or something. Okay, I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna go up this ramp and jump across. It's really weird that it would be up there. On the subject of Minecraft, you saw a thing a few weeks ago. Redstoners made a PC and ran Minecraft on it in Minecraft. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I've, I've heard of crazy stuff like that. Definitely heard of stuff like that. I think it might be way up there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, somehow geothermal vent from the depths of the earth is going through this rock pillar. I don't think that makes real life sense, but you know what? It's a video game. And we don't judge real life physics by video games. 
logic. It's video game logic. Like I'm like placing a ladder with no support to the heavens. Which this this does have some similarity to Minecraft. This feels like nerd polling in Minecraft, so you know there's that. All right, what do we got? Impure. Okay. Do, 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 do. This. Uh, what else am I running out of? Motors. And. AI limiters? No, high speed connectors we're using. It. There we go. Turbo fuel in the jack pack. Yeah, um, I was going to use up this fuel, but I probably don't want to actually use up that fuel. So, turbo fuel. And we can go like this. What is it? A uh, little gear thing. Package to turbo fuel. Now I should be able to jump higher, right? Oh, wow, I'm just way faster. Okay, that's cool. That's really cool. So the turbo fuel is more turbo-y, unsurprisingly. Wow, I'm so much faster with this. <laughs> That's crazy. Please tell me that this will reach as we auto save. Let's do this. Beautiful. Uh, what Minecraft will always be superior is is in terraforming. Since everything is just mineable, you can shape the world to your liking. Hundred percent. There is, l I wouldn't even call the little terraforming that's in this game actual real terraforming. Okay, so I want to go south to get those other ones, and I have some random dismantle crates around here. Probably from ladders that I placed and didn't have enough room for the rods. Where is this? This mantle crate. Don't want it to be on my map anymore. Yeah, probably where this ladder is, is there's a dis dismantle crate floating or something. I don't know where it is. Alright, well, screw it. Uh, hold on a second. Ooh, I don't know if I got this hard drive over here. Slug, we'll grab the slug. How did the turbo fuel build turn out? Had to put your kid down for a nap. Really nice. Uh, it turned out really good. Um, it wasn't too bad to do the upgrade, and we have a lot more power and stuff. Uh, I, if I had access to a power line, I would show you uh, our power upgrade. Our gray line is closer to our orange line or blue line or whatever it is. Um, quite happy with it, though. You are tanky. Jeez. Oh, I did get this one. Okay, oh well. Um, so let me go down to here, which is almost directly south of us. Get that other geothermal. And then we will be good to go get Caterium, which we'll probably have to do for the second part, not the next part of the stream. Found it easier to just toggle off dismantle crates on your map? Yeah, I might end up doing that, actually. <laughs> oh, I do have those. Why were they not showing up as check marks earlier? 
Am I crazy or were these not showing up as check mark earlier? Oh, uh, well, okay, maybe, okay, I think maybe it's further south, though. So maybe it's a different one. Minecraft truly is one of the greatest games of all time in your home and old opinion. It's basically its own genre. Agreed, spent so much time on Minecraft and never ran out of ideas. But especially game, I feel, you just can't get impressed by it after Terraria, no matter how much you tried. Well, on the flip side of that, what I would say is I don't think Terraria would exist without Minecraft. So, it's like saying I can't enjoy GoldenEye after Halo because Halo is so much better than GoldenEye. Like, GoldenEye, maybe there are Doom or some other, like the first first the first first person shooter. It's like it created the genre. I kind of agree with the whole created the genre thing. Okay, yes, I don't have these. Let's go grab these right over here. Atari was a 2D game anyway, yeah. Okay, so down here. We have geothermal down here. So do I have a long power pole anywhere? I do have a couple around. Let me see if I can get... Range on one here. There. Down here. That is going to go through the ground, it's these power lines. And is that going to bother me? Meh. Nah. Meh. Nah. I'm going to say it doesn't bother me, even though it actually does kind of bother me. Impure and normal. Okay. Geothermal. Thermal. Two power storages. So I can definitely agree with Minecraft being one of the greatest games of all time. I can 100% agree with that. Creating a genre, I think, gives you the right to be called one of the greatest games of all time. I think that is... I think that is uh, acceptable, and people can agree with that. So our power grid, look at our gray line. Our gray line is almost touching our blue line with these extra geothermals, too. Nice. Perfect dark versus golden eye, right? Yeah. You've owned Terraria for years. you still never played it. Kind of scared to get sucked into another endless game. You definitely will, but not sure to the extent as Minecraft. A lot more about gathering equipment and fighting bosses. Building is also great. You feel like it's a lot more combat-centered in Terraria. Yeah, I'd agree with that. And I'm just not a huge fan of 2D combat, so that's why I've never gotten into it as much. Uh, okay, there's another one up there that I don't think I have access to. Okay. Now, how did I miss all these geothermals? I have no idea. But I'm glad I'm getting access to him now. It's free power, baby. It's free power, baby. I'm not putting these on the global grid. Because I just can't be bothered to do that right now. Since I'm just quickly getting these plugged in. Ferrari's combat is glorious. Yeah, right there. Okay, nice. Okay, this one I will put on the global grid. Yeah, I understand people's love of Terraria, and I have had some fun with it, playing with my friend Tim occasionally, but it's just not my favorite. Um game because I just don't love the combat in it but I know I know a lot of people do and I do not begrudge them their love of a very good game
Okay. All right. Any more uh, freaking geothermal vents that I missed? We need all of these plugged in. Got that one. I think I'm. I think I'm capturing a bunch of the, the geothermal vents I missed before. So I should be looking much better power-wise after this power upgrade. Feeling very happy about this. Uh, resource scanner only gives you three or four pings at a time. Is that right? I guess one thing I could do uh, that I forgot about is radar tower. Just do this. It's probably the real way to do this. Um, and you know, it might actually even be worth keeping this on just so I can see everything that's available. Like I can see that there's a pure and a normal crude oil that I haven't gotten access to. So how much power does a radar tower use? Um, what is that under? Uh, 30 megawatts of power. Yeah, I think it's worth having all that showing on my map. We'll, we'll keep that up. Do I actually? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to convince myself. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll keep that up. 30 megawatts to have that, have that information. All right, but it is uh, basically break time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to climb to the top of this power pole. Actually, I'm going to fly to the top of this power pole because my turbo fuel is insanely awesome. You all enjoy this beautiful view of a waterfall. I'm a sand stretch user restroom. Hope you all have a good time. This is my new stream. Wait, no, that's the end of the stream. Uh, Y'all grab a drink, grab a snack, grab a cookie, use a restroom. When we come back, we will get access to a to Caterium and hopefully get a nice Caterium mining setup. So I'll see you in just a bit, my friend. Y'all rock. <laughs>